Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all all right and having a good day. We are here today to do some Oculus Quest news. We're gonna talk about Oculus Quest Pro. This thing looks like it's still happening. Now, Mark Zuckerberg did interview with CNET. It's very lengthy interview, so I'm gonna link it in the description. Uh, and apart from many other things what they spoke about, they talked about Oculus Quest Pro as well. So I'm gonna tell you all about it. Of course, Zuckerberg been talking about the stuff like Facebook Horizons and how he plans to create this very nice virtual reality space when everyone is connected, you know, kind of like Ready Player One style. Of course, they're still far away from it, but they're working very hard towards it, so hopefully one day he will achieve it. But anyway, also he spoke about things like other uses of VR than just gaming. Of course, this is a gaming channel, that's why mostly this video is gonna be about Quest Pro. But he's been saying how many other uses the VR got at the moment, and it's probably gonna get even bigger. Like your fitness applications, I mean, I, I'm subscribed to FitXR, so, you know, I know they kind of alright, especially when you, like, at home or don't have much time, and they so convenient, you can just put your headset on, and it is a little workout, you know, maybe it's not your proper gym session, but they are kind of going this way, trying to, you know, make you exercise whenever you can. So that's very nice as well. Also, he spoke about the fact that they made Quest wireless and how cool it is, of course, because dropping this wire for him is like giving this sense of presence. He feels if you got wire hanging over your neck or shoulder, or if you can feel it, then you're losing this sense of presence. That's why he's so happy with the Quest and of course now they released the Airlink and that's to connect yourself to PC without the wire. So they're really working hard uh, to make Quest do as many things as possible and it's pretty awesome. But of course Quest 2 just released and we've had those informations about Quest Pro maybe coming soon. So now we know a bit more. Now listen, he's saying it's still quite far away. It's not coming anytime soon, but it is happening, looks like it. So I'm gonna tell you the questions and the answers he gave. Okay, so uh, he was asked, I'm sort of getting into the same when you mentioned fitness, you mentioned sensors. It raises the question for me. Do you think that there's a chance of those fitness apps working more with watches and trackers? I know you're working on wrist tech for neural inputs in augmented reality. Does that open doorways for virtual reality? Are you looking at more of a wellness direction for that fitness can do? And he answered, those are really interesting questions. We certainly working on the neural interfaces part of the wrist interface around that. Our hope is that eventually that works across virtual and augmented reality and will be valuable across all those things. Getting back to your question about Quest Pro. There are a lot of sensors that would add different senses to the overall experience. We've talked a bit about things like eye tracking and face tracking, and you talking now about things like different health sensors, whether that's heart rate monitoring or the different other kinds of fitness sensors that you might have on a fitness watch. The basic, the basic thing that those all have in common is that each of them takes additional compute power to power the thing. And the whole device needs to be tuned for that. So if you want to basically have a device over time that is just capable of all those things and it's running at and it's running an increasing number of sensors sensors you need to kind of get the higher and higher end devices. And the question for us is going to be, well, how do we innovate on what that's going to look like and be able to deliver something that's a high-end product? And then also, how do we get it to be something that is really affordable for a very wide number of people? Because our mission as a company is really to help connect everyone right. Uh, our approach to VR is rather than building a device and trying to sell it at a premium and make a bunch of money on the device, uh, what we want to do is build a great experience and make it so that as many people as possible can experience this and can be part of the metaverse. 
and at the end of the day we build experiences that are part of that and that will be the long term business that we do. So I think the innovation on the sensor side, the compute side, to make sure that we can build devices that power those both at high end and the devices that can be broadly available to everyone. That's a big part of what we're focused on uh, in the next five years. So in the article itself there is a bit more bits and bobs about Quest Pro, but what it looks like whenever this headset will release, which is not anytime soon anyway, it's gonna be more powerful, but I don't think this power gonna be used for uh, gaming only, and actually they're gonna run different sensors, they're gonna do all that face tracking, mouth tracking and everything, so it's gonna be the device what's gonna give you bigger presence in virtual reality, not exactly the better graphics in the games, and even though gaming is the biggest part of the Quest experience at the moment, you know, this is the gaming channel as well, the quest starting to appeal to everyone and it's doing good job of it. This interview is very, very interesting, so I advise you to read. Like I said, I've got link in the description. Now, speaking about the price, in this interview he spoke about it as well. So it looks like with the Quest Pro they might not be able to achieve this 299 price point that they manage with Oculus Quest 2, but even if it's much, it's gonna be kind of maybe trailered for different kind of audience. I don't know, I think you all safe with the Oculus Quest 2 at the moment anyway. Quest Pro won't be coming anytime soon, Quest 2 is amazing, but when they do it you can expect all those sensors and all those extra features, so that will be pretty cool. When it comes to the price of Quest 2 itself, he spoke in the interview about that as well, and he said that it was very important for them to lower the price, and he was very proud of the team uh, that they managed to achieve it. They work very hard of it, so basically their strategy is get as many headsets out there as possible, get as many people in VR as possible, which is the best strategy I can think of, because of course it's helping VR go this kind of, it's kind of mainstream now, but it's kind of gonna help it achieve even more and there's endless possibilities once tons of people own the VR headsets. So yeah, when Quest Pro happens, Quest 2 Pro maybe let's call it, it's gonna be more expensive than Oculus, Oculus Quest 2 is at the moment, but still for the maybe biggest fans of VR the price probably won't be too high. For everyone else the Facebook gonna have all other alternatives as well, so they go in for this approach, maybe kind of like Sony and Xbox did last generation with PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, so we just gonna have to wait and see what happens, but let me know in comment section what you think of Oculus Quest bringing an upgraded version with kind of more features or maybe you're just interested in games, I do not know. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing, then please press a like because it does help the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And that's it, bye.